Welcome back to Dino World. Your totally non-AI run source for videos about dinosaurs and other prehistoric life. Now on with today's video. Today we're looking at the sauropod dinosaur, Giraffa Titan branchi. This species was discovered in Tanzania in 1912 by German paleontologist Werner Janensch and was later named by him in 1914. He based his name on the fact that this species was similar to a giraffe, giraffa. Giraffa titan branchi is known from a very complete skeleton that is currently on display at the Museum für Naturkunde Berlin. This skeleton was found in 1913 by German paleontologist Werner Janensch. And it includes a skull and lower jaw. It also includes several neck vertebrae, back vertebrae, ribs, shoulder blades, hip bones, and more. The specimen is about 33 feet long, 10 meters, and it's estimated to weigh around 15 tons. This species is one of the largest known sauropods. It's been estimated that it could have reached up to 40 feet, 12 meters, long and weighed up to 20 tons. However, these estimates are based on extrapolation of Giraffa Titan's size compared to other sauropods like Diplodocus and Apatosaurus. Because of this uncertainty, scientists have suggested that Giraffa Titan may not have been as large as previously thought. But it's still likely to be one of the largest known dinosaurs ever discovered. Giraffa Titan branchi lived during the late Jurassic period in what is now Tanzania. Its fossils were found in the Tendaguru formation of what is now Tanzania, which is where its name comes from. This formation dates back to about 150 million years ago during the late Jurassic period. At this time Africa had split off from South America and Madagascar had not yet formed so this area would have been part of a larger supercontinent called Gondwana which included Africa, South America, Antarctica, India, Australia, New Zealand and Madagascar. Like many other sauropods Giraffa Titan branchi was herbivorous, it ate plants. It used its long neck to reach high into trees for food like leaves and twigs. Like many other sauropods it would have been able to move its head up and down thanks to a series of joints between its skull bones called synovial joints which are similar to our own joints but much stronger than ours are. These joints allowed Giraffa Titan's head to move freely without getting stuck or damaged when trying to reach high into trees for food. 